You have told me that being second generation is a significant mm -hmm. aspect of your life. Tell me a bit about what it means to you to be second generation. Well, you know, I, like I mentioned to you, growing up, the Holocaust wasn't discussed. But I knew it existed. I knew that my parents had survived it. I knew that they were not in concentration camps. Um, you know, I knew little bits and pieces. I also knew not to ask about it and not to talk about it. And, you know, it wasn't until I was probably in my early 30s. And then there was a um, somebody, a psychologist in Amherst that started a second generation group um, that, I saw, that I joined. And there were six or seven of us. You know, some people dropped out, but the core, the, the core of us stayed together probably for five years, you know, meeting approximately like once a week. And we talked a lot about, um, I mean, people had different experiences in that group, what was considered second generation. Um, you know, like one of the person, one of the people in the group's father migrated here before the war, but it was, they I don't know what the definition, you know, people had different experiences. Um, one other person had parents that lived through the Holocaust and were in concentration camps. My parents lived through the Holocaust but were not in concentration camps. Um, so, you know, I got much more involved in, in learning about that and understanding how that impacted on my life and trying to make some peace with it. Um, and I still don't really there's so much I don't know. Um, and now, you know, my father's not alive anymore. And my mother's 99. And I, you know, I still, I think she's more willing to talk about it. But um, it just, you know, trying to understand it, how it impacted who I am uh, was important to me. Yes, you know, still important. May I ask about some of the things you learned? You mean being in that group? Yeah. Well, I, I think just, you know, doing the reading, you know, I think just realizing that other people had the same experience and that it was not uncommon for parents that survived the Holocaust to not want to talk about it. Um, and how that, it, 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 you know, it just eliminates so much of, it, it, it made my relationship with my parents more distant. Um, you know, if there's big things you can't talk about, it doesn't create, you know, closeness um, and uh, my mother was always very anxious you know I'm sure that I mean some of that may be her temperament but she also had a hard life you know she lost her first husband she was she lost her mother when she was very young her father when she was very she had lots of lots of losses um, she uh, um, my mother, who seems very dependent, um, you know, the more I learn about her, I mean, she's, she's actually a very strong woman, um, clever, you know, though she wasn't, never considered herself clever in school, she's clever in life. Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's just such a big part of who I am now that um, I lost my tr my train of thought, but it's so. What did I learn in that group? I, I think it was just a place to share and, and talk and be listened to and get some feedback from people who um, had similar experiences that I didn't. I didn't really have close friends when I was older that had that kind of experience.